What is going on guys? This is Xadder here and welcome back to my channel guys. Today we're going to take a, uh, a look at the Ford LTL 9000. As you guys can clearly see on the screen now, it is a work in progress truck. Um, but it is released uh, somewhat. Um, I will leave a link in the description for it. Just please don't you know, upload it anywhere else. Just be respectful uh, You know, the author and all that. Uh, there is an original link which... Um, is also out on YouTube, but this is an updated version. There's going to be updates that will come out. Um, probably just a full release update in the future. Um, but the author of the truck is, I'm not going to pronounce this right, and I do apologize, but it is J. Han Parra. Uh, J. H. O. N. N. P. A. R. R. A. Um, the modified truck is by Brian C. Uh, the person that's doing these updates is. Uh, Craig Teague, so, um, so these are going to be some, uh, you know, updates and all that, that are, will be eventually coming out, but we will take a look at it, uh, once again, it is a work in progress, so, um, just be, keep that in mind, don't know what the, what happened there, uh, but yes, it is a, a work in progress, uh, but we will go and look at the customizations on this, so let's start off, uh, with the cab, uh, it does say those two, so you do have a day cab version here, and then you have a sleeper version there. I'm not sure why the pictures aren't showing up. Once again, work in progress. You guys can see that it needs to be fixed um, down the road, obviously. Uh, moving over to the chassis, we only have one way. I just have the 6x4 here. Uh, moving over to the engines, nice nice bit of engines. Uh, we have the Cat C15 375, Caterpillar C15 450, uh, Cummins N14 435. The Cat 3406E475, Packard MX13, Packard MX13 485. Uh, the first one was a 450. So we'll scroll down here. We have the Packard MX13 500, Cat C15 500, Cummins N14 525, Cat 3406 550, Cat C15 550. Keep going down. We have the Cummins N14 600 chipped. Uh, so it's a 605. We have a Cummins ISX 12 370. Comes with a Cummins ISX 15500, Cummins ISX 15 uh, with 600, and then we have a Caterpillar C15 625. I'm probably going to go with the Cummins N14 uh, 600 chipped for today. Moving over to transmissions, there's only two. So we do have the ZF AS Tronic 12 speed, and then we have the ZF AS Tronic uh, 12 speed with retarder. So we'll do the, uh, the 12 speed with the retarder. Moving over to the interior. Uh, it's just a standard interior, that's all there is, so we'll take a look at this real quick. Uh, it's very nicely done, honestly, it really is, uh, for being a Ford, and to still be a work in progress, it's still nicely done. Uh, there's the back, you guys can see the bunk there. I uh, got your double seat here uh, on these older trucks, and then we had a double seat, and then you got obviously the driver's seat, I like the old style shifter down there. Uh, not too sure where the parking brake would be at, but I guess we'll find that out once we you know, go and, and actually test it out. So we'll go back here, moving over to paint. Uh, there's, you know, the typical paint. So we have uh, we have deep ocean here. I'll zoom out a little bit. We have perfect white. We have Scorpio red, uh, acacia green, which actually doesn't look too bad. Uh, we have autumn orange. We have crimson red. We have poached ivory. We have custom color, which we will check out here just to make sure everything is working, which it is. We have custom metallic color here, and We'll check that out as well, so you can see that that works. Then we'll go to the second one. You guys can see that it is working. And then the last one here, and it all works very nicely. So we have PARA 1. So here's a custom one here. It looks like we could paint it, which we can. So we could do, excuse me, we could do any color here. Like that. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to see what this one changes. Not can't really tell what it would change. Uh, and then we got the last one, which is the top half. You guys can see that there. Uh, we have another one. We have this one. So it looks like it's it's like the same, but the the lines go up and the colors look like they are reversed. So just check that all out. Make sure it all works, just to be sure. So hey, I'm pretty sure it does. Is you know doesn't hurt to double check. That I'm not sure which which that one will do. Probably doesn't work. The black. You guys can, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see the lines. 
So there we'll go to a brighter color. You guys can see that that works there and the last one obviously is the top and that works as well. So they all work which is really nice uh, except for about this one doesn't work and this one here I don't know what they change. Uh, but we will probably just go with the acacia green. Uh, I do like it so it doesn't look too bad. Over to the accessories now. now there is not a lot as you guys can clearly see. Once again like I said it is a work in progress guys so just you know download the truck. Uh, don't post it anywhere else because I, I do have the original link from the where I got it from where it was posted. Um, so just be respectful of it if you don't mind honestly because people are and I will say people are assholes and they will just go around and post it on other sites which they already have done. Uh, but the person that is doing updates uh, before I continue the person that is doing the updates for the truck said that when it is all finished they will post it to the site uh, Facebook group that I'm in where it was originally posted uh, and a couple other sites that they trust so only they will post it um, so just be respectful please and just download the truck and just use it for your own uh, for your own sake so and don't put it anywhere else and it is the original link so uh, so it's not from another site it is the original link but we will look at the accessories here so up on top we have looks like I don't even know how to pronounce that but we will click on it <laughs> so it is we'll just say it's the spoiler honestly uh, we'll just leave it at that and just put it as the spoiler so there's the spoiler I don't really like it so I'll we'll just take it off uh, we have main mirrors we only have plastic but they are chrome uh, we do have the driver's plate it looks like so we're not even going to worry about that uh, down on front uh, it does I guess it does does replace one of the W900 trucks that are actually in the game uh, just from what I heard all these bumpers are from the W900 so we could just obviously just look at them real quick see what they look like on here so you got your bumper standard you got your bumper modern we have the bumper shield the bumper butterfly and then we have the bumper quarterback which doesn't really fit this truck too well so we'll just leave it on the bumper butterfly just because I like having running lights uh, on the truck uh, and then other than that it's just changing the wheels so we can go ahead and just change them we might uh, could throw these old ones on here 521 from the Kenworth so we'll just throw these on here uh, probably just leave them white to be honest and let's see here yeah I like that I like the old style so do that let's see if there's actually a yeah so then we got that there we could actually paint that if we wanted to to a more I guess green so to speak so we'll keep that there mm, you know what we'll just leave it white change all this out so there's the back make that black and then we got the hub cover which actually does not have one so we'll just probably leave it like that and we'll change out the back as well for both of these these big old classic tires they are big <laughs> but it's all good though old truck old tires makes sense so we'll change out these here as well if I can find it there it is Oop, wrong one there we go and we'll change out this as well make that black there's no hub cover so don't worry about it and we'll do that there Alright, so that looks like it's everything. Uh, once again, ignore this back, uh, you know, the rear light and all that. But uh, that's everything for the outside. Let's see what we could change on the inside. Uh, really, nothing, honestly, uh, besides the steering wheel. So it looks like we do have a little roof hatch there. That's what it looks like to me. Uh, I think maybe, yeah, GPS up there that they have added in here. Obviously, this truck is old. There would not be one in, you know, in real life but it's a game so they did add a GPS up there stock with the truck and we only have one that says Kenworth Modern which is the old Ford so not bad uh, only 97,000 uh, with the trade-in it looks like our new total but the trade-in should be a lot cheaper yeah so it's only 9,000 with the trade-in so it's not bad so we will trade this in we'll take a look at it game takes a little bit to load up so we'll just escape that and let the surroundings load 
There we are right there. Nice Ford. Old style wheels on it. Sure, I was thinking about putting the, uh, the Dayton wheels in, but eh. I mean, you can if you want, but I, I don't feel like it. So we'll start this up. Just your, you know, your classic Cummins N14, so everyone knows what that sounds like. And do the lights here. Go there, got the high beams. So high beams work. Which are nice. I wish the lights at the bottom were a little bit brighter, uh, like how they were on the side there. But it is what it is. You got the left turn signal there. As you can see there is a turn signal up on top, but it looks like the lens isn't there. Or it is. It's kind of hard to see with all this chrome. But it does work up top, which is nice. And in the back, you got the back one there. You do the right side. Got the right one on top of the mirror. And then up front. So that all works. Do the horn. There's the air horn. Do the other horn. Which doesn't have one, so we just have the air horn. I'll do the wipers here. Don't seem to be working on the outside. Hopefully they work on the inside. So yes, they do work on the inside. So setting one, do setting two. So hopefully uh, they'll end up looking like this on the inside uh, later on. Uh, we'll go back in here, see if we can find the parking brake. Alright, so it just comes on. You can see the little light over there on the dashboard. But I do not see any parking brake or trailer brake. Which is okay because it's still a work in progress. Uh, but glad to see that it is working on the dashboard. So that is nice. Uh, see if we can find the light switch if there is one. You can see that next to the steering wheel there. Let's see if we can find the high beam. So it just seems to come on, which is okay. Uh, you got the GPS up top, like I said before. Uh, so other than that, guys, it's just driving down the road as we usually do. Uh, obviously, you guys know the sounds of the Cummins, but just still got to take it for a, a test drive because that's what we always do. So I will be quiet and let you guys enjoy the truck and the sight, I guess the sights and all that. So we'll just uh, sit back and relax. Okay, so that's 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 different. <laughs> That is definitely different. Was not ooh, shut the truck off. Was not expecting that to be honest. So you got the rear lights there working too. That was my dumb fault, was trying to uh, get rid of the thing. Had a feeling there was a cop over there. Stupid cop. Tagged us twice. <laughs> oh well.
Alrighty, guys. Let's see if the actual the headlights will shut off. No. So the headlights do come on whenever you just put the parking lights on. So, um, but yeah, guys. So that was the the Ford uh, LTO 9000. Uh, once again, this is a very very work in progress truck. Uh, so just please, you know, respect the link that I provide for you guys. Uh, that is the original link. It's not from a modded, you know, a mod site or nothing. It's the actual original link. So please just respect it. Uh, just, you know, use it to your own benefit. And just, you know, drive the truck around. Now, once again, there is not a lot of stuff to do to this truck. Uh, but it's still very nice. Uh, hopefully they'll, you know, the, later on down the road, there'll be, you know, an engine that's actually right for this truck. I'm not saying that the engines that were provided are not right. Uh, just a more classic, you know, give you that old, classic, old school feel. Uh, I did throw the uh, the Kenworth 521 uh, wheels on here. Uh, just because I do not have any Dayton wheels in right now. Because um, they were messing up and, you know, there was, they were messing up with other wheels and other stuff. So I just ended up taking those out a while ago. Um, but I was debating on whether or not to throw them on here. They wouldn't look bad. Um... And I didn't want to put no modern wheels on here, so I decided to throw these on here and see how they look. They don't look too bad. Uh, once again, an old school truck. Want to keep that old school feel to it. Um, we'll go back in the cab real quick. You know, just you know, look at everything. Make sure that these. So there's the hazard lights. As you guys can see, the hazard button did not go on, but it's okay. Uh, lights on the roof are very bright. I just wish the lights on the bottom were very bright. Once again, I'm gonna say it again work in progress so I you know I can't wait to see whenever it is fully done uh, to see what this truck actually emerges out to to be you know different stacks different you could do uh, different things uh, we didn't look to see if there was any more variants for you know the day cab which I highly doubt that there is um, we could actually do that real quick if we really wanted to just to see but I, I doubt there's anything for the day cab if we would go to accessories no there's there's nothing so there's no difference so you could rock either one uh, it does look like the the rear lights though even though they don't work are actually fixed right I don't like this one but it's alright though so we will uh, just go back out here uh, but yeah guys if you did enjoy it and I do apologize for for crashing I was trying to get rid of the uh, display and it's kinda hard to do that while you're driving and on a turn with a keyboard and a mouse and so that was my fault. I, I normally don't do that. You guys know that. But, uh, <laughs> you know, stuff happens. Nothing's perfect. Uh, but once again, if you guys did enjoy this video and you did enjoy this truck, uh, please leave a thumbs up. You know, comment if you do have anything to say. Uh, subscribe if you are new to the channel. Um, if you guys need any assistance with anything, I know people have been commenting on my old videos about stuff from them and all that, and I will reply. Uh, but once again, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this truck. Uh, it is an old school truck, so when another full final update comes out for it, I will put it out for you guys and show you the differences uh, from this you know, review to that review, depending on when that is. Um, other than that, guys, please have a wonderful day, um, and just take care. See you guys in the next one.